what happened originally to your back? Why oh. Did it start hurting? So, yeah, I mean, I was basically giving myself a back injury by any means possible looking back, like, like from my whole childhood, really, and especially my high school years, I was, I couldn't have done anything better to give myself a back injury. I was, I slouched in school. I, I always remember sitting like this. Like my tailbone was never on the back of the chair. I always remember sitting like this. And um, I was playing hockey, so like I was, I was uneven, first of all, because I leaned like this. I actually like, PT told me like, you know you always hike up this shoulder? I'm like, oh, well that doesn't make this one any better. So I, I was slouching, I was playing hockey, and I was lifting all the time. And I had dormant glutes, and I was just lifting with horrible posture. So once I started working a manual labor job when I was 17, so I'd work this job about 10 hours a day, which is like lifting stages, tents, like stuff for event set up. My glutes aren't working. All the pressure's on my back. I'm rounding it. So I'm just wrenching on it all day. I'd go home, and at the time, I thought I was going to be like a CrossFit athlete. So I'd go home and like start doing deadlifts for reps. Like, and I would like watch all these motivational videos like, oh, it's in your head, like, no pain, no gain. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, shut up back, <laughs> get out of my way. And so, I would, yeah, then, then like when I was done with that, at the end of the day, I would just go sit down and slouch. So my, my back was like this all, all day, and I was even pulling on it most of the day too. So it's just getting worked and then um and like i would have like little episodes where like it would hurt sometimes like and it would like go away in a day or two but when i was 17 or no i was 18 i finally i caught a power clean because crossfit people do and it was just a warm-up weight it was like 135 which at the time was super easy for me but as soon as i caught it in the front rack everything from here to here just said nope locked up to say basically to save my spine because if I would have kept doing that my spine would have eventually broken or herniated a disc so like your protective mechanism is just to lock everything up and that's a really good short-term fix but long term it sucks because once you're safe and you and it's safe to calm down and your body doesn't need to be like all locked up like it doesn't know when to relax so that was the first time I got it all jacked up uh, if I had something like this, I probably would have been out of pain in a week, but it took me about three months to to get to get out of that one. And then, yeah, that's when I, I had the bad experiences with like the the physicians, the PTs. Like, the, like they took an MRI. Like I went through the freaking donut <laughs> twice, and they looked at it like, yeah, you're fine. And, like they kind of looked at me like it was pretty annoying. Like like I wasn't in as much pain as I said I was. And that was really, really frustrating. Because, uh, like, you can't prove it on paper how bad it hurt. Because, uh, like, if you look at my spine, everything looks fine. But the problem was the muscles. It wasn't, it wasn't the structure. The structure was good enough. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say it was great.